If you've been watching the 2025 cybersecurity job market, you've probably seen some pretty scary headlines. We're hearing that job listings for roles like security engineer and security analyst have dropped about 25% since 2022. So if you're trying to break into cloud security or you've already in this field, a number like that is probably terrifying. It kind of paints a picture of a shrinking market of opportunities evaporating and of a speciality that's losing its edge. You might even be thinking that you've missed the boat and that the golden age of cloud security is over. But what if that's not the real story? What if this so-called decline is actually hiding a massive opportunity? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the new hybrid roles that are taking the place of traditional cloud security jobs. We're going to talk about why companies are desperate to fill them and how you can position yourself to be one of the most in-demand professionals in cybersecurity. This isn't a collapse, it's an evolution and understanding it is the key to your cybersecurity career. So let's start with that very scary number a 25 percent drop in certain security job postings for years a title like cloud security engineer was the gold standard it was the role to aim for a clear sign of expertise now seeing it and similar roles decline create some real fear and confusion. People are asking, is cloud no longer important? Is the market saturated? Did AI automate the jobs or is that going to happen? Now, the confusion makes sense. I get it. We're in a strange market. On one hand, there's a massive talent shortage with recent reports showing nearly 457,000 open cybersecurity jobs in the US alone and almost 4 million unfilled positions globally. The need for security has never been greater. On the other on the other hand, you see headlines about layoffs and declining job listings. This creates anxiety, it makes talented people hesitate, and it makes it harder for newcomers to find a clear path. And it's a question and a topic that I discuss a lot with people. Many are starting to feel like they're grinding for certifications like the Security Plus, only to find the goalposts have moved. The help desk to cybersecurity pipeline that once seemed clear now maybe feels broken, with companies demanding years of direct experience for so-called entry-level roles. The fear is that the cloud security boom is over and that the easy win jobs are gone. There's a narrative forming that companies are cutting costs and specialised security roles are first on the chopping block. Some data does show a decrease in general security engineering roles, partly because companies are outsourcing to cut costs. So it's easy to look at this and conclude that mastering cloud security is no longer a surefire path to a stable, high-paying career. But that conclusion is wrong. It's based on looking at a single data point a job title instead of the underlying skills the market is screaming for. The demand for cloud security expertise hasn't vanished, I can tell you that. In fact, it has become so essential, so fundamental, that it can't be contained in a single job title anymore. It's being baked into the very fabric of modern IT and security. So here's the secret the headlines are missing. This isn't a crash, it's a transformation. The drop in specific titles doesn't signal a lack of demand, it signals a change in how companies hire. And this is what I've been seeing as a recruiter and a career coach. Organizations have realized that cloud security isn't some siloed function that only one person handles. It's a collective responsibility that needs to be integrated across multiple domains. As a result, the duties of the cloud security engineer have been unbundled and fused with other roles, creating a new category of hybrid professional that is far more powerful and valuable. Cloud security is now a foundational skill, not just a job title. So while some roles have declined, okay, Job postings for 10 of the top 25 functional cybersecurity roles have actually increased, which highlights these shifting priorities. Demand still remains high. Companies aren't looking for just a cloud person anymore. They're looking for security people who are masters of the cloud. They want developers who think like security engineers and compliance officers who speak the language of cloud architecture. So if you've been building your cloud security skills, you're not behind, far from it. You are perfectly positioned for this new reality. You just need to know where to look. So now let's talk about the new hybrid roles that are emerging from this shift. The roles companies are desperate to fill in 2025 and will be in 2026. First up is the DevSecOps specialist. This role is perfect example of the shift left security movement, which is all about building security into the software development lifecycle from the very beginning. So for years, security was 
a final hurdle before deployment, a bottleneck that developers hated. DevSecOps shatters that old model. So what exactly is a DevSecOps specialist? Well, think of them as a bridge connecting the development, the security and the operations team. They don't just find vulnerabilities, they build automated systems to stop them from ever being introduced in the first place. They work inside the CI slash CD pipeline, the automated workflow that moves code from a developer's laptop to production and embeds security checks at every single stage. So this means they scan for code flaws, they analyze running applications and they secure containers to make sure that the building blocks of apps are safe. Now you may ask why is this role so hot right now? Well because speed and security aren't a trade-off anymore they're a dual requirement. The market of DevSecOps is exploding and, and it's projected to become a massive multi billion dollar industry. Companies that can release secure software quickly have a massive competitive advantage. A traditional security team just can't keep up with the modern development. So a DevSecOps professional, however, enables that speed by making security a seamless automated part of the process. They are architects of secure innovation. The key skills for this role blend development, security and cloud expertise all in one. You need to understand secure coding and be good with infrastructure as code tools like Terraform. And of course, you need to deeply understand a cloud platform like AWS, Azure or GCP, because that's where modern applications live. OK, so moving on to the next role, the cloud governance, risk and compliance, GRC specialist. So the second major hybrid role is the cloud governance, risk and compliance specialist or cloud GRC for short. This might not sound as action packed as a threat hunter, but from a business perspective, this role is absolutely mission control. In fact, roles tied to governance have seen a huge surge with positions like cybersecurity, privacy attorney, jumping over 40% in job postings recently driven by a wave of new regulations. In fact, I would honestly say that if you're looking to get into cybersecurity, the cloud GRC is a great area to look at. What makes this role so special? Well, a cloud GRC specialist makes sure that a company's cloud environment follows internal policies and external regulations like GDPR or the new SEC breach disclosure rules because every business needs to align with this. So if you're in this area, it's vital and you are a key part of that team. They are the translators between technical and cloud settings and legal or business requirements. They answer the question, are we secure? With a follow-up, according to which standard and how can we prove it? The role is blowing up because the cloud isn't a technical sandbox anymore. It's where companies keep their crown jewels. One misconfiguration can lead to a catastrophic data breach, costing millions and destroying a company's reputation. To succeed here, you need a unique mix of skills. You need a solid grasp of cloud security architecture, identity management, but you also have to be an expert in cybersecurity frameworks like NIST or ISO. So you need to be able to map a technical control like an AWS security group role to a specific compliance requirement. So the next one we're going to look at is the AI security specialist. Now, this is maybe the most forward looking hybrid role there is. Now, AI isn't science fiction anymore. It's a core business tool and it's being deployed in the cloud at a stunning pace. With this new tech comes a completely new set of security problems. Remember, AI has jumped on the scene. It's here to stay and it's only going to continue to become more prevalent so everyone needs to be aware and learn these skills so as an ai security specialist it focuses on two things it focuses on securing the ai systems themselves and using ai to make security defenses better in general first they protect the machine learning models that power ai from attacks this could mean preventing data poisoning where an attacker corrupts training data to mess with the AI's behavior, or it could be stopping model inversion attacks where someone tries to steal the AI model itself. Now, secondly, they use AI and machine learning to build smarter security systems, which every business will want. Think of an AI powered tool that can predict a breach before it happens by spotting subtle patterns or an automated response system that can contain a threat in milliseconds, way faster than any human could. This role is becoming essential because as businesses rely more in AI, securing those AI systems is paramount. And on top of that, cyber criminals are already using AI to create smart, efficient attacks and malware that consistently changes to avoid being caught. The skills for this role are highly specialized. You need a strong foundation on both cloud security and data science, and you need to understand machine learning 
game frameworks. This is a role for people who love being on the cutting edge. Okay, so after discussing all of that, it's obvious that the landscape is changing and a lot. And I know that a lot of this might feel overwhelming to you, but the key takeaway is that your skills are far more valuable than ever. They just need to be applied in a new way. So let's talk about how to master these skills for this year, for 2025 and beyond. How do you become one of those sought after hybrid professionals? Well, it's not just about collecting random certifications. It's about building a specific integrated skill set. So first of all, go deep on one cloud platform. You can't secure what you don't understand. So pick one of the big three, AWS, Azure or Google Cloud and really learn it. Don't just learn the security services, learn how the whole ecosystem works. Understand their shared responsibility model, their core services and their networking. Certifications like the AWS Certified Security are great for structuring your learning. Next up, start thinking about your hybrid special. Once you have your cloud encoding foundation, choose your focus. If you love building and automating, focus on DevSecOps or set up a personal project with a CD pipeline and GitHub Actions or Jenkins. Integrate security scanners and practice securing Docker containers. If you're meticulous and enjoy bridging tech and policy, you can go for Cloud GRC. Take a framework like the NIST Cybersecurity Framework and try to implement its controls in a personal AWS account. Make sure you document everything and practice explaining technical risks in business terms. Remember, when you come and apply for these jobs, you need to be able to show your workings. And that's where we've talked about home labs and portfolios. And I've just done a video on that. So check that out. If you're fascinated by the future, explore AI security. Start with the fundamentals of machine learning. There are tons of free resources out there. Then start playing with platforms like Amazon SageMaker or Azure Machine Learning and research common AI attack vendors. And finally, build in public. A certification can get you an interview, but your portfolio gets you a job. So once again, create a GitHub, show off your code, write blog posts explaining your projects. This proves not only your technical skills, but also your passion and ability to communicate. Something hiring managers want to see. Don't just say you know cloud security, prove it. So the cybersecurity job market of 2025 is certainly not shrinking, it's sharpening. The disappearance of a single job title isn't a reason to panic, it's a signal to adapt. Cloud security is no longer a niche, it's the bedrock of modern security. The demand hasn't gone away, it's become so important that it's been woven into the DNA of most critical roles in technology. The future doesn't belong to the person with cloud security engineer on their resume, it belongs to the DevSecOps specialist who builds unbreakable automated pipelines or it belongs to the GRC analyst who can confidently tell a board of directors their cloud investment is secure. And it belongs to the AI security expert who is building the defenses for a world we are just beginning to imagine. The opportunity is immense, but it demands a new way of thinking. Stop chasing job titles and start building integrated skills. I promise you it will help. Become a hybrid, become an architect of trust in a digital world. Companies aren't just looking for someone to fill a role, they're looking for leaders who can secure their future. Now I want to thank you all for watching. If this video has helped you see the future of cloud security more clearly, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'm curious, which of these hybrid roles excites you the most? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, keep leveling up your career. I'll see you on the next video.